Good evening from AJ Scientific Sessions. My name is Kevin Alexander. I'm an assistant professor of medicine at Stanford University and an advanced heart failure and transplant cardiologist. And I was fortunate to be the discussant on one of the late breaking trials earlier this afternoon. Uh, this was a study sponsored by Intellia uh, looking at in vivo CRISPR gene editing uh, for ATTR cardiac amyloidosis. And we heard exciting data presented by Dr. Julian Gilmore. And so I would like to highlight some of the study findings and potential implications for the field. So in ATTR cardiac amyloidosis, we're fortunate to have some therapies that have emerged that either stabilize the transthyretin protein to pr reduce further breakdown of the protein, or RNAi-based technology to lower the TTR expression, thereby decreasing the amount of amyloid that subsequently builds up. So this current phase one trial that uh, was sponsored by Intel is looking at a permanent TTR lowering. So using CRISPR-based gene, ed gene editing, lowering expression of TTR in the liver with a one-time treatment. And so this, what Dr. Gilmore showed was the initial phase three, safe, phase, excuse me, phase one safety and efficacy data uh, for, for this in a small cohort of ATTR cardiomyopathy patients. So the main findings were, number one, in looking at the doses of 0.7 and one milligram per kilogram, in heart failure, uh, NYH class one through three heart failure patients, there was an overall uh, well toler tolerable uh, treatment, and there was also a mean reduction in TTR by about 90%, or greater than 90%. So this was in line, if not more, TTR reduction than what we've seen in prior TTR silencing trials. So based on the, these data, I think that going forward, it'll be interesting to see how, uh, what the clinical efficacy of this class of medications is is that increased TTR lowering that we see for this type of therapy compared to the silencer's lead, does that translate to increased efficacy? I think that's one question. And then there's further questions, I think, in terms of what are the long-term implications of, of TTR lowering, which is an area that we need further uh, exploration in. But I think the data shown today were exciting for a new therapeutic class and, and for uh, showing the potential for uh, addi potential additional treatments for this uh, deadly disease.